Welcome back guys. Today we are going to be creating a subtle abstract art inside of Maya and Anil. We are going to be using a little bit of mesh and some Anil. And let's see. So the first thing I'm going to take is a sphere, a poly sphere, and uh, I'm going to change the radius to probably around two. Let's keep it this way. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is take a cylinder. Let's bring it out. And let's go to poly cylinder and probably make the height to 0.5 or something and radius to 0.1, something like this. And we will like scale this up somewhere around like this. And do one thing: change the cap division to zero right the next thing we are going to do is go to face mode select the top face and the bottom face and uh, go to edit mesh hit bevel uh, make the fraction to probably around 0.3 or 4 it totally depends on you uh, you can keep it to whatever you want and just increase the number of segments to 12 and that's it so now you have a pretty smooth cylinder you can take any shape you want and if you hit 3 you get pretty smooth result so i think this is looking good i'm going to keep it like that now the next thing we are going to do is create a mesh network for our cylinder. Now go to your mesh menu and simply click on this icon to create a mesh network. If you don't have the mesh menu, all you have to do is go to Windows, Setting and Preferences, Plugin Manager, and if you scroll down, you'll probably find mesh. All right, just set it to load and auto load, and you'll be good to go. So select your mesh, uh, go to your mesh menu, and select mesh. Once you click the mesh you'll see something like this basically an array of your clones of your object so what mesh does it gives you a kind of default a distribute node which kind of clones your object into multiple objects so if we select our object and go to the mesh network we will see something called as mesh distribute which is a default distribution node so here you can see the number of points right you can change the number of points to any number you want and the distribution type is set to linear the next thing we see is center distribution or you can say the distance x it has been moving along you can also change it to y and z but we are not going to be using this uh, instead we are going to switch the distribution type to mesh now maya will ask you which mesh do you want the mesh to be distributed on so what we are going to do is select this mesh which is the polysphere and uh, go to distribute and simply middle click on this sphere or you can the scroll wheel just middle click middle mouse click on this and simply drag and drop it on the input mesh and instantly you'll see that the object has been scattered along the surface of the sphere so this is exactly what we wanted now the next thing we're going to do is obviously increase the number of points you can pretty much increase any number of points you want I'm going to keep it to around 50 for now just so it doesn't look that much messy and also let's call this um, cell all right and uh, select this and as you can see we have push along normals we are not going to be using this uh, the one thing we are going to be doing is taking a different kind of approach to this instead of just uh, mashing this around the mash uh, the mesh object we can change the scale rotation position but instead of changing it from here or you can also compute uh, or you can say calculate the rotation instead we are going to create a new network called as the random node so let's create and add a random node and instead uh, making changes in the distribution node like this we are going to use another node just so we have more control on our mesh network so let's make the position to zero zero and zero we don't want to push along any direction we just want to change the overall rotation and the scalar value on our object so let's change the rotation all right you can keep it to anything you want and i think i'm going to keep it like this okay the next thing we are going to be doing is uh, probably making it one and something like this and i think it's looking good it's too much 0.6 okay so i think this is looking good i'm just going to select my cylinder and hit r and just scale this down okay perfect so let's go back to the mesh network as well and uh, increase the overall scale to 0.9 or probably 7 it totally depends on you and let's increase the number of mesh object we have number of points or you can say 
let's increase it to something like this now here's the cool part if you don't like the overall look of this what you can do is simply change the overall randomness or you can say seeds to get a different kinds of result and now you have all this a uh, mesh network scattering around the overall surface of the object now you can choose any look you want now the next thing we are going to do is create a cage around it so we are going to take another sphere okay and let's scale this up to somewhere around here and I'm going to turn on my x-ray by simply clicking this icon and as you can see we have a perfectly caged aligned around the surface so the next thing we are going to be doing is selecting the one vertex probably around in the middle like this and if you hold down shift and greater than smaller than you can pretty much increase or decrease your selection or you can say grow or shrink your selection like for example if i go to my face mode and select these two faces and if i hold down shift and press greater than or lower than i can pretty much increase or decrease the selection shrinking or growing your selection so i think this is a pretty neat shortcut or you can say helpful tip or trick you can use on your abstract arts to create a quick selection so what i'm going to do is select uh, go to the front mode and just i think selecting one vertex and simply holding shift and increase the overall selection what you can also do is go to face mode select these four faces and hold down shift and simply increase lower than or greater than to increase or shrink totally depends on on you how much area you want it to be covered like for example i think this is looking good enough and once you're done selection uh, simply delete it and you have something like this which i think looks pretty nice if you hold uh, if you press 3 which is basically creating your mesh from hard surface to a smooth surface you'll see something like this right so now we are going to extrude this you can hit this icon you can hit ctrl e or either you can also go to edit mesh and go to extrude extrude this outwards somewhere around here and that's it so if we hit 3 we get something like this obviously we have to add a couple of edges so let's hit 1 to make it hard surface again and uh, go to edit mesh sorry mesh tool insert edge loop and just put some edges around the corners and one in the middle and now if we hit 3 we can see something like this so I think it's looking nice uh, now let's get into some lighting and shading I'm going to switch over to my main camera which is this one and let's switch it to the IPR I'm going to go to my Arnold IPR and uh, also i'm going to switch the test resolution to 75 and the debug shading to occlusion so we have something like this right so let's turn off the debug mode and let's take a directional light okay. hit w to move it along the surface and let's rotate this to somewhere around like this okay i think this is looking good i'm going to go to my arnold section and i think increase the sample to probably around five you can also increase the exposure if you like let's keep the exposure to one and intensity to one as well uh, one more thing we are going to do is create a kind of overall lighting for the whole environment so i'm going to go to my arnold and create a sky dome light and now we see something like this so we have nice little shadow going on around these corners and so on uh, one more thing we need is a kind of backdrop so I'm just going to take a simple plane go to the perspective view and let's scale the plane sorry scale the plane and decrease the division to 0 and 0 and I think I'm going to move this around like here minus 10 and uh, rotate this to 90 degrees I think this is good enough so let's scale this up and now we have a background so uh, I'm just going to quickly name all of this so this is my BG background and this will be my cage this is my mash network I don't have to rename it so I think this is good enough so let's get into the shading let's go to the front cam and here I'm going to first select this plane and simply go to assign new material panel stamp surface and I'm going to call this BG let's make the diffuse to 1 and specular to 0.1 and roughness to 0.5 we don't want that kind of reflective surface we just want a pretty flat 
kind of since this is abstract art we want it to be pretty flat and i'm just going to change the color to i guess something like this yeah let's keep it like this and uh, i'm going to select my sphere which is this one either you can also do is hit three and make it pretty smooth before getting into the shading so let's create another material for this and let's call this cell and now the overall process of the shading completely depends on what kind of look you are going after but i'm going to create something like 0.1 or give it like something like this okay let's see now all right i think it's looking good i want it to be pretty reflective so i'm going to add a little bit of code as well on it and let's change the overall color to something like this i'm happy with this result uh, i'm going to select my mesh network and assign a new material to it and let's make it one let's make it uh, let's make it point one and add a little bit of code and let's change the color to something like Right, I think this is looking good. I'm just going to make this darker. Let's keep it to something like grayish kind of look. A little bit of blue in it. Perfect. And I'm also going to go back to my cell and just change the overall color from orange to a little bit of more reddish kind of look. I think this is looking good. And now for the last part, which is the cage, I'm going to create a new material. I'm going to go to my shader. Let's create a stand surface and I'm going to call this. I was going to call it frost, but it's okay. So we are going to create a frosted glass for it. What you can also do is either you can go to transmission, make it one to create a glass and also turning off opaque and just increasing the overall roughness to probably around two or three and also changing the opaque to off. Either you can also go to simply the preset menu and take a frosted glass and replace it. It's not going to make any difference but one and the same thing. So you'll get the overall look like this. So if you want to manually play around with different kinds of setting like changing the IR value or whatever, it totally depends on you. Either you can also choose some preset. So now we have overall looks like this which look pretty interesting. At the and I just want to say this is a creative process definitely play around with different kinds of shape to get different kinds of result there there is like limitless possibility of creating anything pretty much with mash so create something interesting like definitely change or play around with different kinds of setting increase the number of clones you have changing the seeds to get the overall look and if you don't like the color and overall simply play around with shading so uh, let's go to my cell and I'm just going to tweak a little bit of color just to see what kind of look I can get out of this and uh, probably something like this and I'm just going to uh, make this roughness to completely zero so I just have a pretty reflective one and I'm just going to increase the roughness on this one and also a little bit of roughness on the coat so i think this is looking good i'm just going to decrease the amount of um, exposure on my directional light so i don't have that overexposed scene so i think this is looking pretty good as i said definitely play around with different kinds of shape uh, to experiment different kinds of look there's like endless possibility create something out of this and if you do create something out of this definitely send me on my instagram i'd love to see your work and how you're doing with my videos and if you like need any help or something or specific video definitely mention it on the comment section and i'll check them out again thank you for watching and have a nice day